Well, good morning. It's Thursday morning, and trust that you are beginning to warm up some. Hopefully you are, and maybe all of this snow and everything will be gone, and we'll be back to the Texas weather that we all love. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, today uh, the title of our devotion is this. If you're feeling unwanted, abandoned, or rejected, it's time to rejoice. Sounds like an odd one, doesn't it? I've got the even an odder scripture for you. In 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 28, Paul's speaking to the Christians in Corinth, and he says, The base things of the world and the things which are despised hath God chosen. Have you ever felt unwanted or abandoned or rejected? You know, there was a time in my life when I felt like I was inferior, Marcia, you know, didn't, I know people look at me now and say, no, I don't think you could ever felt like that. But, you know, really, um, I didn't have a lot of friends and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't out really outgoing, that outgoing, you know, and, uh, and, and so, then you met me. and then I met you. Oh yeah. And she changed my life. She changed my life, you know, yeah. But, but, you know, a lot of times we get our view of life from where we've come from, you That's know, right. and, or and what people have said or, about us, or yes, what sure, experiences sure. Yeah, we've had, yeah, or yeah. in that kind and, of thing. And so, uh, many times we don't see ourselves valuable and precious to God, but there, God, I like that saying, God don't make no junk, you know, and God, nobody is is uh, of no value to God. God loves every one of them. I, I love this uh, where Paul's talking to the Corinthians here. And you have to understand, uh, Corinth was like a, a major metropolitan area, and you had the games there, and you had temples there, and and you know, and then here's this small sect of group of people who Paul begins to teach and minister to, and they begin to get a hold of the gospel. And now, you know, they're not going to the games or they're not going to the temples where the prostitutes are, or, you know, they're not trying to cheat this way. And all of a sudden things begin to change in them. It's interesting to me when Jesus preached, the people that really came to see him were the people the world calls throwaways. People no, are everyday people or yes, or even as we've heard this term plenty lately, the deplorables, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, or, or you've heard this term, uh, flyover country. You know what that means? You know, the middle of the country, you know, that's typically red or more conservative than the two, uh, West, uh, East and West coast. But Paul says here, he said they were being, these Christians were being ostracized and they were deemed un, uh, they were deemed stupid. Uh, by really an unbelieving community there. It got worse, too, when they became Christians. Oh, my, my. They were probably accepted a little bit in Corinth until they became Christians. Well, they didn't even try to understand them. You know, when they, because, see, Corinth, uh, they have many gods. You know, not one god, but many. Oh, yeah, I'll just add your god to my gods. No, no, there are no other gods. You know, you have one. And, yeah. and, and so. And they wanted them to... Uh, to compromise yes, their beliefs. Yes, absolutely. They? They, yeah. that, that kind of what's going on today. Sure it is, absolutely. Like our government's trying to get us to compromise yep. and accept abortion, accept homosexuality, I mean, uh, accept all the evil things that Satan's doing. Yes, I mean, them. Max Lucado was invited here just a week or so ago to uh, in the Washington, the big cathedral there, and they did it online. But he talked about the love of God, and and the LGBTQ rose up and said, "You can't have him come and do this." And and they fought against them. I mean, tooth to nail. Well, now the cancel culture is trying to get rid of him. You know, it's and, not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen because the world is turning everybody upside down. It's kind of like the pillow guy. What's his name? Uh, Mike. Mike, Mike Lindell. Mike Lindell, you know, Lindell. Uh, I, I shared with the church uh, a few weeks ago how they had taken him off the, off the social media and all of this, and, and companies were now taking him out of their stores all because, you know, uh, he uh, did not believe the election was right or, you know, they didn't like, well, he, he is very conservative. Now. He's very conservative. He's, yes, you know. and he has proof. Yes. And so, so I told Pastor Marsh, I said, good, we're going to get on the thing and we're going to go order pillows. So I think we ordered like what, eight pillows, you yeah. know, I mean, just about, about, chunk, about chunk 350 money. bucks. Yeah, yeah, pillow. And I <laughs> said, I, I, I want to support him. Yeah, we've got we're them. Gonna, great we're going to sleep on them now. But, uh, but I thought, you know, when the world despises you, and that word despise means this, to make light of, to, dis, to treat with contempt or disregard or neglect. I like I like the First Corinthians twenty, and this is the translation I like on that. And it says this right here: 
It says that God, that God has picked out people who are laughable and through them, and, and Mike talks about how he was a drug addict and all of this and mm-hmm. how God took and turned his life. Through them, he is confounding those who think they are high and mighty, low-class, second-rate, common, average, run-of-the-mill people who so low that the world doesn't even think they're worth the time of day. Those are the ones that God has chosen. Mm-hmm. Wow. Man, that gives He's every chosen. one of us He's hope. He's chosen doesn't? all of us to go yeah. forth with his word. He has yeah. chosen. The devil may try to use your friends, your family, your business associates, your school teachers to make fun of you and try to drag you down, but don't you let them do that. God has chosen you, and you are a person of value in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today, all right? Be blessed.